I really gotta work on the lighting in here. It's so harsh. I don't know. This... Is this better? I don't know. Anyway. Welcome to the channel, everyone. Mike Rondo here. It's been a little while. Uh, kind of a busy week. Um, <laughs> still a bit of a delay on the driveway situation, but more on that another day. Uh, not much going on. Work. Uh, busy doing some stuff. I've been contemplating... Let me see if this is any better. This is really not... Oh, my God. It's like a UFO. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this video is going to be just like a, a life update, fireside chat kind of thing. Nothing... No reviews or nothing like that, which uh, I'll get into in a second. But uh, tonight, smoking in the the Shed 7 LE320. This is the one that's always in the Shed. The other one has been living in the Shed as well, but it's over there. I haven't really brought it in the house um, tonight we are smoking, uh, uh, one of my favorites, Edward G. Robinson, right here. I love this stuff. Um, I figured it was a good night to have that, so that's what I'm doing. So, um, there may be no point to this video, but maybe it'll help you fall asleep. Maybe it'll, um, I don't know, relax you, because I'm going to talk about nothing, really. <laughs> Which is really my channel. It's really about nothing, this channel. Hmm. Seems like it's a little moist, the tobacco. But uh, anyway, uh, where to begin? Where to begin? Um, I'll start with... Um, podcasting because uh as of may 16th i'm officially no longer the owner operator if you will of the cantina cast i handed it off to albert and jonesy and they're off running and doing their thing so congrats to them they're doing a great job um so i've been kind of kicking this thing around as you guys know if you go back to some of my earlier videos i've talked about uh wait a minute maybe this will work hold on hold a second I don't know. We're, we're going to try something here. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's exactly what we want to go with. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we can change it to... Uh, let's see. We want to be more like... Maybe like that? I don't know. Is that... That too, like, I'm too alien? What, what do we got going on here? Is that, uh, oh, that's worse. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I need a key light. I, I don't know. Maybe, see, you need a light, like, right here. That would be probably good. Anyway, well, enough of this. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining on that experiment. Um, so, anyway, going back to what I was saying, podcasting. So, I'd uh, Go back to those early videos. For a long time, I've been wanting to get into true crime podcasting. And uh, I dabbled a little bit on, on this channel. I've talked to a few serial killers or whatever, but nothing nothing crazy or anything like that, just for fun. And um, recently, I don't know why. I think maybe because doing the Cantina cast is kind of over and done with now for me. So uh, I don't know why I feel like I have this time to do it. I really don't. Um, and this light is driving me absolutely bonkers i don't know why it's see it's okay there but anyway um so i i decided all right early, earlier in the week I did, i've flushed out uh two shows that i could do the first show being uh one that has to do with true crime that i kind of grew up with um in the last 45 years of my life soon to be 46 um and talk about that in my perspective on that and that's probably an easier road to go than where I want to go with the other one, which is the New Bedford Highway Killer, which is kind of my, um, the case that's kind of started me down this whole true crime thing to begin with. And it's always stuck with me and it's an unsolved case, uh, in the New England area. And I don't know, I kind of want to just say F it and go with it and, and see where it goes and see if I can, uh, covered but the problem is there's not much to go on there's not enough information and, and, and can i make that something i don't know maybe 
maybe I'll do that. I'm leaning that way now. I wasn't earlier in the week. I was going to just do the, the easier road and just do that and, and cover that. So we'll see. Stay tuned for that. Probably I may record a few episodes and then just kind of edit them and see what I get and then decide if I'm really going to do it or not and then release them and maybe do the show or whatever. We'll see. See how that goes. I don't know. The other thing is uh, this channel and where it's going, what it's doing. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. It's just that I've been kind of busy dealing with some other stuff and kind of just recharging my batteries, if you will. Um, now, the reviews, I may go away with the reviews for a little bit. Um, It's not that I don't like doing the reviews. I just feel like they're kind of stale. It's kind of like rinse and repeat that I've been doing. So I got to rethink that, how I'm going to approach those and do those. Um, I mean, there's like a zillion reviews out there on all these tobaccos and everything. So I don't know if it's really worth continuing or not. Or the other problem is YouTube is not very pipe friendly, if you will. Uh, I had one video... Because I'd mentioned, I'd, I believe, I mentioned in the title, uh, I got, you know, I mentioned a new pipe. And uh, that was enough for them to say, no, this is age-restricted, which it already is. My channel is age-restricted as it is. Um, but apparently they took it a, a step further or whatever. And I was like, all right, whatever. Can't fight the fight there. And um, I didn't appeal that one. I just said, hey, whatever, I don't care. I noticed the the views have gone down a little bit. Now, that could be because I've sucked at my reviews uh, lately, so the, the, the numbers have gone down a little bit. Or it could be YouTube just kind of, you know, making it not as uh, noticeable, if you will. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I, I, this channel is more than just pipe smoking. Sure, it's the the main focus, if you will, right now. But as you guys know, I'm into my Jeep, and I will be overlanding with that at some point soon, I hope. Uh, I just got my rack in, finally came here, it was 150 pounds, me and the UPS guy had to, uh, lug it in, if you will, to, uh, the steps over here, and, um, so that's ready to go, I gotta put it together, that'll be fun, because I, I don't believe there's really any instructions, although it seems to be self-explanatory, so, we'll see when I put that on and, and go from there, and then from there, it's either I get my rooftop tent, uh, or... I get a ground tent, which is most likely going to be the case this year. Um, maybe later on in the year, I'll get a rooftop tent. But, of course, I'm running into a situation at work with the vacation time I've had planned. Um, my boss is retiring, so I'm kind of the de facto leader at the moment. So I uh, have more responsibility, so to speak, because she's leaving at the end of this month. And I'm essentially taking over, so I have to kind of bug get out of here i have to uh run the office basically and so my vacations might i'll still have vacation time but they're going to be broken up i think and i'm not sure i'm going to be able to get out and camp but i'm probably be able to explore and hit some trails and take you guys along with me uh, i do have in the end of july early august i have a a trip planned to go to new york and probably hit uh, the Christopher Morley, uh, the notch, his his shed of solitude, if you will, uh, to check that out because Christopher Morley, I absolutely love his novels and stuff. And so check that out. And uh, on the way back, I may hit Sleepy Hollow and do a little bit of filming there for Halloween, you know, because I love Halloween. Uh, so I may do that. We'll see. That's the plan. That's probably the big things going on Um in the next couple of weeks or whatever, but uh, overlanding camping like I wanted to, eh, it's uh, it's up in the air right now, sadly because of work. But next time this year should be more settled, and I should be able to do what I want basically at that point. So. Or if all goes well, 
and I apologize because I got I'm a little nasally. I just had a sneeze attack before I came out here because uh, <laughs> the allergies uh, season, the pollen has just been awful. I, I posted a picture on my uh, let me see if I can find it here on my Instagram um, <laughs> of uh, all this pollen. It rained and it washed. Yep, I got right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, that's all that gook is on the cars. It's on the house. It's on. It's on everything. It's everywhere. It's and then there's like a film on the pool. Um, it's just absolutely horrible. So I've been dealing with that, and you know, you wipe down the house because you open the windows. You want the fresh air, but yet all the pollen comes in. It's it's just everywhere. It's like it's disgusting. So. I had a sneezing attack and we're coming in here, so I have I'm all nasally, which I usually am on, on this channel anyway, right? <laughs> um, hmm. This is really, really good. It is a bit, um, I think a little moist for this. It's uh, If you hear a little bit of steam coming there, like it's it's sizzling a little. But it's, it's really good. Um, so, yeah. So, I've been dealing with those, the allergies and stuff. So, it's been it's been awful. So, as far as the channel goes, I'm going to try to mix in different things other than pipe smoking. But uh, pipe smoking will still be a big part of this. Um, you might get more fireside chats like this where I'm just talking to you guys. I'll talk about different topics, more philosophy stuff. I'll bring that more in instead of just reviews or whatever. Um and having a pipe and kind of like an ASMR, kind of relaxing to a guy smoking a pipe, talking about absolutely nonsense and whatnot. So uh, we'll try that, see if it works. I don't know if it'll work, if anyone's interested in that. I don't know. We're going to find out. But a little bit of experimentation coming up uh, over the summer. And I'll be hitting my two-year anniversary uh, very soon, uh, next month, July 5th, actually. That'll be two years. Hopefully I make it to 1,000 by then. Uh, that would be pretty good. That'd be a nice goal. I never thought I would even get to 100, but here I am, almost at 1,000, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, I guess that's going to do it for this video. I didn't want to make a big thing of this. Um, I just wanted to get in touch, say hi to you guys. Uh, you know, proof of life, I am alive. Um, just been busy. You know, life getting in the way. Um, you know, so anyway, I will see you guys soon. I may get some new tobaccos in soon and... I'll talk about them, but I might try to mix it up and make it a little bit different if I can. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to have to think about that. But anyway, uh, all those who commented in my last video, thank you very much. Um, the gentleman who has his, uh, I think he said he had a Kia Soul, and he has a rooftop tent. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's awesome that you're adventuring. It doesn't matter what vehicle you got. Just go out there and, and explore and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I had a good, I, That made me smile. Um, other than that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Um, take care. I'll probably do a video maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I might do a cigar or something. I don't know. We'll see. Everything's up in the air. Anyway, I'm out of here. I've taken up enough of your time. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon.